Good morning, I have here a reviewer from Mathematics. I'm going to do like this. It is because uh, I think uh, this one will make everybody uh, learn a lot of mathematics because uh, it's really very, very hard for me to explain the questions if I'm just going to get the video and say the answers. And I want to solve each problem so everybody would learn how to do it, okay? So the first question is, if the first even integer is 2x plus 6, then the find the next three positive even integers. Okay, uh, if we have like consecutive integers, we just say uh, 1. Shall I say 1, 2, 3, like that. Shall I say x is, uh, 1 is x? So that means 2 is x plus 1, right? The second one would be x plus 1. And then the third one from x, it will be plus 2, right? So that means x plus 2. So if you are going to see uh, questions like consecutive integers, just consecutive integers, you will always represent the first integer as x and second x plus 1 and sec uh, third one would be x plus 2. And so on, x plus 3, x plus 4, x plus 5. Now, if you are given with like a uh, consecutive odd integer, or in consecutive even integer, you will have, uh, shall I say, even, 2, 4, 6, okay? So, shall I say this one is x? So, we add here x plus 2, that's the second, okay? And then here, we have x plus 4, because if this is 2, we added 4 here, so that's x plus 4, now, and so on. So, if it's like uh, even integer, you will have the first integer as x, and second would be x plus 2, and third would be x plus 4, and so on, x plus 6, x plus 8, x plus 10, and so on, like that. Okay, now what if it's odd integer? So 1, 3, 5, and so on, like that. Okay, so let x be the first, which is 1. So we add here plus 2, so that means the second one would be x plus 2, and the third one would be x plus 4, right? We added 4 from 1 to 5, that's 4, so that's x plus 4, and so on. So if the question calls for a consecutive even integer and consecutive odd integer, you will always have x plus 1, uh, x, x plus 2, x plus 4, and x plus 1, x, x plus 2, x plus 4 for both odd and even, okay? Now, if it's like consecutive integer only, you will have x, x plus 1, x plus 2, x plus 3, like that, okay? Now, uh, this one, in this case, the first integer is given. So, what you're gonna do is just like find the uh, next, uh, what's that? Next three positive even integers. So, we will have, if our first integer is 2x plus 6, so the next uh, even integer would be, we just add 2 here because it's even integer, we always add 2, or add integer, we always also add 2. So, we have like 2x, the next would be 2x plus the next would be 2x plus 8, we just added 2, and then next would be 2x plus 10, we just added 2 here, and then 2x plus uh, 12, that's an, uh, the third one from uh, first, second, and third from the given one, okay? So we have there, uh, it says here that then find the next three positive even integers. So next part three would be at 2x plus 8, 2x plus 10, and 2x plus 12. So these are our answers. And that would be uh, letter C, okay? So that's 2x plus 8, 2x plus 10, and 2x plus 12. There you go. Next question. If 4x minus 7 is the first odd integer, then find the 7th even integer after it. Okay, so remember this is odd. So you will have uh, 4x minus 7. This is our uh, first odd integer. 7th uh, even integer after it. So we we'll say... What's the next even integer after this? If we have like 1, 2, 3, like that, if this is odd, this is even. So we just added 1, right? So in this case, we, we're just going to add 1 for 4x plus 7. So we have plus 1. So this one would be the next. Uh, this is odd integer. So the next positive, uh, the next even integer for this would be 4x minus 6. Because negative 7 plus 1, that gives you negative 6. So this is, uh, what's this? The first even integer after the given, right? Okay, so the question is, find the seventh integer or even integer after it. So this is the first even integer. So we'll have 4x minus, uh, minus 
uh, 4. Why minus 4? Because we're adding 2 here. Because even integer again and add integer, we add 2. So negative 6 plus 2, that's negative 4. Okay, this is our second. And 4x minus 2 plus 2 here becomes negative 4 plus 2, that's negative 2. Okay, first, second, third. Okay, we're, we're finding for the 7. Okay, so next one would be 4x because negative 2 plus 2, that gives you 0. So just 4x and then 4x plus 2. This is our fifth. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 4x plus 4, that's, it will be, this will be our sixth. And 4x plus 6 will be the seventh integer after this 4x minus 7, which is odd integer. Okay, so here our answer would be 4x plus 6, which is letter C. There you go. Next one. We have here, uh, if x plus y is equal to 17, then find x plus y squared. Okay, so you have here x plus y. I'm sorry. Oh my god. x plus y, anyway, is equal to 17. And then, this is x plus y is equal to 17. Now, we are going to find x plus y squared. How much would be x plus y squared? So since this one, x plus y is uh, here, and x plus y is equal to 17, so you will have x plus y 17, so that's 17 squared. Because we're just going to substitute this one, which is x plus y, which is equal to 17, and square that, that is 289. Okay? I'm just going to add ink for uh, on my marker. Bye-bye. I just cut the video. Sorry. Bye-bye.